Hi, and welcome back to the channel, and thanks for having you all along with me for more of my sea kayaking adventures. Day one of the trip, Friday, down to the bridge over the Atlantic from Auburn and return. Squeezing in an extra day, Andy and I set off south from Auburn, down the Sound of Curra and into Clacken Sound to the bridge, then back out heading northwest between Back Isle and the southwest of Curra, up the western side of Curra and back to Auburn. A little over 19 miles done and a respectable top speed on the downwind runs of 7 mile an hour. Friday morning, from my youth hostel window, and a grey wet start looking straight down the Sound of Curra. We launched from across the road from the youth hostel on Auburn seafront. Ah, it's a bit grey. Yep. No, no. The grey wet day with forecasted strengthening southerly winds, we'd head south down the narrow sound of Carrara. <laughs> the Currera Ferry making its return journey back across to the mainland. Yeah, that's it, Andy. Apartment stuff, you know? I pointed out some old ruined buildings I'd spotted on a previous trip. Now clear of the sound, we started to feel the remnants of the swell from the previous week's storm. A couple of rocky outcrops were tempting, but thankfully common sense prevailed. We paddled on past the entrance to Loch Fierken. Seven point six. Approaching the rocky islands of Skir Lath, marking the entrance to the narrow tidal channel of Clacken Sound, separating Seal Island from the mainland. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Inside. Hi, this is where we actually camped, Andy. It was here where he had he had his tent right on this end. Our sheltered lunch stop within the sound was a spot I'd used to camp overnight on a previous trip. You were limping the last time we were out as well. I'm sure you were. We decided to continue on down the sound against the tide and turn around at the bridge before returning to Auburn. The Clagan Bridge was completed in 1793, having various names of Atlantic Bridge and Bridge Over the Atlantic, and these were probably considered appropriate due to the tidal Clagan Sound actually being part of the Atlantic, as locals crossed over the Humpback Bridge to the Isle of Seal. It is so pretty. The lovely little houses within the solitude of the sound was overwhelming. <laughs> Back in the open sea now, and the forecasted strengthening southerly wind was beginning to make an impact on the sea conditions. A 
Our plan was beginning to hatch as we headed further west in an effort to get a better angle downwind and catch some runs if the waves became big enough. We headed for the gap between Back Island and the southwest point of Curra, hoping it would pick up a little more through the channel. And a brief stop to speak to the local fishermen as we passed. And just under 15 mile at this point. Onwards and northwards as we headed up the west side of Kurra and the thickening clouds continued to blow through. I managed around 7 mile an hour as I caught a little run in the stream against the tide. Is that how tide started? <laughs> the Andy smile. <laughs> Such a lovely place to come back to though, isn't it? Really picturesque. Oh, look at the light behind you though. After a grey day, we were rewarded with fabulous light as the wind died away and the sun broke through the evening clouds. Rounding the northwest tip of Curra, the picturesque buildings of Auburn finally came into view. Ferries and fish farming vessels made their way past Donolly Castle to the north of Auburn. After a fabulous little trip, it was given a big 10 from us both. <laughs> 10, 10. 10, yeah. A spot on high water left us a short carry with the boats back to the youth hostel. Day one was a cracking start to a long weekend kayaking around Auburn area. A lovely quiet evening relaxing in the comfort of the youth hostel, watching the lights of Auburn and the twinkling navigation lights down the sound. Mm -hmm. 